Okay, sorry for the break there. As I said, this has not been running. This is cold and all. And now I do have the keys. I'll go under here. Down here is where we have the little uh, assister fuel pump. Just flipped on. It's not hooked up to the ignition. It runs directly from the battery. Here, maybe it just builds up the back flow or empty for whatever reason. Now let's go over here. Give it one shot with that. go down here and turn off the fuel pump and the regular one works fine let's give it a little bit of a kick down that noise you heard uh, that's from the muffler uh, they are not leaking they have internal uh, the internal baffles are kind of loose and that's what makes that noise which uh, as you can see over there those are the two mufflers that come with it that have not been installed yet as well as you can see these are the parts that come with the vehicle i will show more close up to the moment when we get the car backed out so let me close the hood the uh soft top is obviously stored here and that is where the hard top is uh my father never got around to painting it. Um, there is a little bit of uh, uh, fiberglass damage in the top. The underneath looks basically clean as anything. Um, as you saw, we took pictures of it, but that's pretty much where it's sat its whole life. So, I will back out. I guess they don't have the uh, Continental fully mounted in the back. I will. That's what that squeak noise is. Always love the hood. The hood line with the scoop on this thing. Uh, as you can see, the tachometer works. The speedometer does work. Uh, hot and cold temperature gauge does work. Fuel gauge does not work. And the clock does not work either. Radio does not work. Um, these do work. Uh, lights do work. Ah, let's see here. Yep, as I expected. I didn't have the back lodge from when I was back in here, which I'll just point out here. This is missing the cover for the uh, lock for the trunk. But, uh, this thing was painted in 1987. Uh, the reason I remember this is because my father asked me if I would be home at a certain time in June, which happened to be finals for high school and that I would be home to open the garage so that they could back this right into the uh, garage. And my father could then start uh, doing a little bit of work to it. Uh, there are a couple of issues with the paint I want to point out to you. Here, whoops, here, here, 
There's a little bit of a drip. Maybe you can see that there. Main issues there, there, and on the very top of the uh, scoop. So, in my opinion, it doesn't need a whole repaint. It just needs some touch-up spots. Uh, nothing really too much in the back end as far as anything. Um, there we go. That's the way it should be. Um, you know, my father basically uh, redid it so he could drive around town locally in um, Mawa and Suffern. That's where he's from. Um, you know, just to enjoy it driving around in his retirement. Oh, a little bit here. Uh, let's open up the hood here. I want to take off the, uh, as you can see, obviously it doesn't have the correct, uh, it's a six volt battery, but it doesn't have the uh, stock one, I guess you would say. It just has the six volt uh, um, glass pack Optima battery. But let me take this off here. This is pretty much the reason why it dented the top originally, because uh, for some reason, I don't know, they had a, uh, a nut underneath here. A nut underneath there that was raising this up an extra quarter of an inch too high. That's what was causing that problem. I have no idea why they did it. Um, Put the phone down for a second. All right, take off your air cleaner. This is the four barrel Holly T Plot style carburetor. And as I said, this was rebuilt back in the summer. Uh, this was rebuilt by Steve's Carburetor in Lyndhurst, New Jersey. Uh, I didn't do any adjustments to this whatsoever. I just basically took it, slapped it right on there. So, uh, as you can see, it starts up pretty good and runs pretty good just as it is. Although it might, it might still need some minor adjustments to tweak it at high end or low end. But, uh, I think that pretty much does it. Let me show you, um, as I said, the items that go with it. Uh, I'll give you a pan over. My father was just collecting so many things over the years for this. Extra light sockets. I don't even know why he has these. I believe these are from 56, if I'm correct. I don't know why he has this, those. Um, extra glass for the um, speedometer. Extra mirrors, as you can see, there's four of them. I don't even know which mirrors they're from. An extra fan. I don't even know what kind of hubcap that's from necessarily. Um, a lot of little medallions and stuff like that. There might even be a replacement for the uh, trunk uh, latch. Uh, extra wiper blades and so forth. More um, more ornamentation. Um, other little knickknacks and such that go with the car, some of it forward, some of it aftermarket. Um, as you can see, there's a couple of voltage regulators. Uh, these are, oh, these are molding pieces uh, with the top. There's the uh, uh, tubes I was saying in one of my comments about that are for the radiator, uh, sorry, for the radio, because um, the radio doesn't work. Uh, I think these are just a lot of things that my father just never got around to doing. Um, unfortunately, there is no there is no jack that comes with the car. There's a type of jack, but it's not this jack, that's for sure. Uh, new collar for the steering wheel. You know, I, um, what do you call it there? A fender protector. Um, you know, the uh, chrome pieces for the taillights. Uh, 
pieces for the, I believe it's the rear, not, not the front, right? A new horn ring, because obviously the one that's on the car is missing the ring uh, for that. Uh, funny little toilet roll dispenser. <laughs> uh, some extra weather stripping. There's a new fuel pump. There's an old one. So obviously, uh, if, if it, you know, to get rid of that uh, electronic fuel pump, basically this would just need to be put in. Um, these parts over here as well uh, come with the car um, behind this here. So we got the four extra uh, tires on uh, on rims per se. Uh, the back two, I believe, are snow tires. Probably something at least thirty, at least forty years old. Um, the five rims that go with it. Not one hundred percent sure that as well as the center caps. I'm not sure. In someone's commented they might be for Chrysler. That's quite possible. These are all adjustable down here. All the spokes and so forth. There's the two mufflers, the two down uh, pipes from the um, from the uh, exhaust manifold to the muffler. Uh, an extra carburetor. I believe this one is the Holly teapot. This one is, uh, I believe, a Holly teapot as well. So two extra carburetors. Um, there's that performance wine intake manifold with the uh, carburetors on top of it. I don't know why my father ever bought it, because that's something performance, and he was never really into uh, performance. An extra intake manifold, don't know why. Um, I believe this is an upper intake manifold gasket set. These are hubcaps here. Um, there's a total of five of them. I, I think one or two of them are like mint for going on the uh, car, whereas the car has them all of them. Um, this up here, this is, the, I'll turn this around. This is the weather stripping set for. I'm not sure if it's for the uh, hard top or the soft top. Uh, there is a. This little thing here might give indication weather strip fits in chrome, trim lower, hard top, bottom edge. Okay. So maybe this whole kit is part of the one for the hard top which has yet to be uh, redone, but need, but basically, uh, you know, it's not cracked or anything like that, so. Um, I think that kind of does it. Uh, you know, other little tidbits and stuff like that. And as you can hear, the car outside is still running fine. Um, I don't know exactly how long I've been doing this here, five, six minutes maybe, but, you know. Again, that little noise at the end is not a backfire. That's actually the mufflers underneath. Um, they just kind of like the metal bows back and forth inside. So um, I think that kind of does it. I don't know what else really to uh, explain. Oh, the uh, glove box. It doesn't want to stay fully latched. I'm sure that's just a matter of adjustments. But, um, you know, this was my father's baby. Bought it in September of 66. Uh, he traded in a 63 Thunderbird for a 55 Thunderbird and actually still had to pay $50 to match out the, uh, the cost. So anyways, uh, thank you for watching the video. Um, uh, that's all I can say. Thank you.